The Samuel Ocean Telescope, originally the Palomar 48-inch telescope, is a special purpose device designed and built to add broad reconnaissance capabilities to the Palomar Observatory portfolio. Compared with the Hale Telescope, which excels at detailed study of individual objects and systems, the Ocean Telescope's strength is surveying large segments of the sky efficiently. The telescope was dedicated as the Samuel Ocean Telescope in 1987. As originally conceived, Palomar Observatory was to be focused solely on the Hale Telescope. The idea of broad reconnaissance in general, and the ocean in particular, was an afterthought suggested by astronomers Walter Bada and Fritz Zwicky. The ocean is a so-called Schmidt telescope or camera that delivers a usable field of view hundreds of times larger than that of the Hale. The Schmidt concept was first demonstrated on sky at Palomar in 1936 with an 18-inch Schmidt telescope, currently on exhibit in the visitor center. Performance of the 18-inch was so promising that Caltech committed to building the ocean in the late 1930s, and the telescope saw first light in September 1948. The ocean is famous in astronomy for enabling many sky surveys. Notable among them are the Palomar Sky Surveys in two different instances in the 1950s and the 1990s. Insights from these surveys have touched all areas of astronomy. From solar system dynamics to study of galaxy clusters, the largest bound structures in the universe. Discoveries made with the ocean famously led to the reclassification of Pluto as a dwarf planet in 2006. Throughout most of its history, the ocean used photographic techniques, glass plates with photographic emulsions that would be exposed and developed to produce images. However, over the last two decades, the ocean has been fitted with increasingly capable electronic cameras. Modern electronic detectors are much more light sensitive than photographic emulsions. In present day, the ocean hosts a 600 megapixel camera and is the discovery engine for the Zwicky Transient Facility. The ocean operates purely robotically. There are typically no astronomers or staff present in the dome during observations, but instead the data are linked around the world in near real time. 